extending further into the cloud and we got Matt Jozemski joining us on the set from Dardenne's Newswise. Thank you very much for joining us here. Um, the cloud, we all know what it is. What's Oracle done? All right, so Oracle bought a com or agreed to buy a company called Taleo. Uh, they make software for hiring and talent management. So, you know, you're a business, um, you're looking to kind of sort through all the resumes coming in for a job application, or, you know, maybe you're a, a manager that has employees underneath you and you want kind of a, an online map of who your potential candidates would be for jobs, like for succession planning and that kind of thing. Uh, you mean that's just not random? No. <laughs> No, so Taleo makes software that makes people that makes it possible, you know, for people to, to do that on their computer, basically. Um, okay. So this is, you know, they're, they're one of uh, numerous providers of these point software solutions for businesses um, that have been just kind of getting swept up by the likes of Oracle and SAP lately. Right. So we saw that SAP acquired was it success? Uh, what was it uh, success factor? Yes. Okay. For more, for much more, three point four billion dollars recently right. as well. Tell us what they do. Yeah. So you know, Success Factors is a similar type of company. I mean, um, the the acquisitions have a lot in common. And uh, but you know, one one thing about this deal is that the the stock premium. Is, is a lot lower in this case than it was in the success factors deal. So, you know, one of the questions this raises is how much shareholders of these small cloud software companies still stand to benefit from the wave of consolidation that we're seeing in this so, space. So this was 1.9 billion, which is a, is a fairly hefty chunk of money for doing this. Right. Is there any, I mean, this is H HR stuff, so there's a lot of um, sensitive information typically in HR records. Is there any worry about that being in the cloud? I know, I know sort of a locked drawer is, is one thing, um, not very accessible, but certainly, you know, secrets don't leak out. Yeah, I mean, security is always cited as one of the uh, the concerns that companies have before moving to the cloud. You know, which just means, in the software case, it means instead of buying the actual disks and installing software on your own computers, you're um, accessing it through a web browser, and it's hosted in, in this case, like Oracle server somewhere else. Right now, interestingly, um, Larry Ellison said a couple years ago, as you point out, that he didn't think that was any way to build a business. Yeah, I mean, so and maybe we can go back to that in, in a he's minute. No, he's but, never uh, sure on bold statements, is he, that Larry Ellison? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, the thing is that the security record on on this cloud stuff is has actually kind of looked more promising of late. You know, like a lot of people argue that, uh, you know. You, having data and software and stuff in the cloud is actually safer than a lot of companies' in-house um, capabilities to store it. Now, you're right, I mean, Larry Ellison has made kind of an about face on this cloud stuff. Lately, uh, Oracle unro uh, unveiled a product called the Oracle Public Cloud last year. Um, they also bought a big uh, cloud software provider called RightNap Technologies. That mm. acquisition closed just last month. Um, so, you know, it seems like this is finally an area that they've acknowledged they have to uh, to get into. Mm -hmm. It's proven to be a way that businesses, you know, want to buy software now. It's, you know, can be it's more nimble and cheaper and, and easier in general when you're, it's just like the updates are getting pushed out through the web. It's not like you have to have a whole staff of people in-house to support whatever program you're talking about, so. Mm -hmm. 